And now the youth, including myself, have identified that we want to be tied somehow to our, our parents' birthplace, our own birthplaces. When I went to the Philippines specifically, I was going to what they call the province area. And the provinces are basically the farmlands, the boonies, where kids are fetching pails of water when they want to take a bath. They don't care about half the things that we're stressing about here in Canada. So while they're looking at us like, oh wow, you guys are so lucky. I'm looking at you like, man, you're so lucky. For the first time after growing up in Canada, um, going back to Ethiopia and seeing the poverty firsthand, and I was only 10 or 11, but it still hits home. You're still, you know, a lot of people underestimate the power of young children to understand these greater issues. When you can start to bring it home to people, that's when they start to care, right? I'm pushing my whip or whatever, but it cost me $60 to fill up my tank and it's getting crazy. Like, why is that? First of all, oil isn't renewable. And second of all, there's a huge conflict around what's happening, so it makes it more expensive to get it here. Everything I was doing was very closely connected with foreign policy. I just hadn't known that it was a formal thing. Social assistance and call centers, those are the two main things that put food on the table in the hood, you know what I mean? And like, starting to be like, yo, all these jobs are drying up. They're all welling up. Where are they going? You know what I mean? Like, how come I can't get access to this anymore? Oh, because cheap labor practices. Being able to go and witness firsthand a lot of these uh, situations and life circumstances a lot of people around the world have found themselves in, that kind of helps to motivate young people to care. Because if I didn't go to Brazil and see this firsthand myself, I'd still be in my little cube and worried about the conflicts in my own community and not give a damn about the Canadian foreign policy. Standing there not caring doesn't help nobody. You have to care about something. In the near future, I could be in Africa or Brazil and proud to say I'm Canadian. But at this day and age and this time we're in right now, can't really say that. Canada's foreign policy means war, it means occupation, it means terror on our families and our communities. How could I go to Afghanistan and say I'm proud to be a Canadian when, when my Canadian soldiers are killing people there? As an Eritrean, as a woman of Eritrean descent, war is a phone call away from me and like that goes the same for many other women of color immigrants and refugees in this country and i think it's youth who have the capacity to mobilize again and again and to really feel hit by these atrocities overseas i think they almost have a responsibility to put their voices out there and express their anger at canada's unwillingness to act